I looked at my foot and I saw like all the blood. 15 year old Peyton McGinn remembers his scary experience last August while surfing St. Augustine Beach. It started with a tug on his leg. I pretty much just felt like someone like pulled me from underneath the water. At first he thought it was a friend playing a trick on him. But when he looked down, Payne saw a shark swimming away and realized he was bleeding. I like went to land and then when I got there, even more blood started coming out and then there was just blood everywhere after that. That's when a nearby surfer ran over and wrapped up the teen's wound before calling 911. You can see the scar on his ankle almost a year later. After Payne was attacked, he suffered a torn tendon, needed to get surgery and went through rehab. Scientists say shark attacks like these are uncommon. In most cases, they happen in the summer when the beaches are packed with people and when the water is at its warmest. There's a company that wants to make these rare attacks even more so with a special device. You can wear it on your wrist or your ankle. The company says it's a simple and effective way in order to reduce the risk of a shark attack, especially if you're out here in the water, diving, swimming, or surfing. They create this powerful electromagnetic field, and when sharks come into contact with that field, it turns them away. David Mercero, the vice president of Shark Vans, tells me the idea was developed after a high school friend of his was attacked by a shark. He didn't show up to school one morning and he had been out surfing and had a bull shark actually pull him off his board and chew up his leg a bit, but he was all right, uh, thankfully. The company says it's tested the products and they work. They shared several videos with us, including this one. A test dummy is baited with fish and dropped in the water with 15 bull sharks for 14 minutes. Without the product, the dummy was been about every 42 seconds. But once shark bands is placed on the dummy's wrist and ankle, the company claims there were zero attacks. Before we even launched the product in 2014, we looked at all the research that had been done showing and proving that um, magnetic technology that we were going to use was effective at deterring a wide variety of predatory shark species. Dr. Jim Gelslider studies sharks for a living as an associate professor of biology at the University of North Florida. He says there is some scientific evidence behind shark bands and other shark repelling technology. Theoretically speaking, these Permanent magnets do pr produce a, some sort of electrical field that does seem to be um, that does seem to negatively impact shark. That does cause them to want to avoid that area. But Dr. Gelslider says the devices are small and would only be effective if the shark is in close range. It's probably only really functional up to maybe about a half a meter, about a foot and a half away from the shark. He says if it makes a swimmer feel better, it may not be a bad idea, but says people shouldn't develop a false sense of security. It's it's not going to uh, be 100% effective against sharks because even the studies that have been conducted using these devices demonstrate that, again, uh, some of the dummy divers, for example, that were outfitted with the band still have the tendency to get bitten. Gail Slider told Action News Jax he would still like to see some additional research on the product. There's been a little bit of work that's been done to test the shark bands, not a tremendous amount, and most of it hasn't made its way into the public published literature um, to be evaluated by scientists. The company's website does have over 3,000 mostly positive reviews and testimonials. Matthew Scott, Payton's stepdad, told us he received a shark bands six months ago as a gift from his brother. I always had uh, slight nervous fear of sharks whenever I started diving. It just allows me to uh, focus on looking for fish instead of looking behind me all the time. He's used it a few times without any incidents, and he's even urging his stepson to get one too. For now, Peyton is staying off his board and out of the water. Probably eventually, like in the future, like I'll probably end up surfing again or just uh, getting back in the water. Reporting, Leisha Khan, CBS 47, Fox 30, Action News.